Welcome to Utah, Paul Jones and Sherman Hamilton. The Raptors getting set to play the back-to-back -back against the Utah Jazz. But, Sherm, let's look back. Kyle Lowry with a terrific game in the win over Sacramento. Another double-double. But the play of the wings. Yes. Terrence Ross following a 20-point game with another one for the first time in his career. And James Johnson notching a season-high 19 points. Yeah, and it's kind of surprising that Terrence Ross has just accomplished this goal right now because of the way he can score the basketball. But when DeMar DeRozan went down, we talked about it. Who needs to step up? Right. We talked about guys like Lou Williams coming off the bench. But the reality is they need Terrence Ross to play at a high level. And the fact that he had two of these games back to back is a positive thing. Now, for Terrence, he did it primarily off of the jump shot against Sacramento. But I think he's got to get to the free throw line. He didn't have any free throw right. attempts. And he's too athletic. And I think he's just, he's got too much in his game to not attack the rim. But I will say this you could see that the message has been sent. Yeah. Terrence, we need you to step your game up. Yes. We need you to play at a higher level. And I thought he did a great job, and his team did a good job of really looking for him early. And once he got into a rhythm, they continued to feed him. And you talk about James Johnson. You know, one thing about James is he can have significant impact on the defensive end. But when his offense is flowing like yeah, it was against yeah. Sacramento, he's a special piece to this team. And you say it all the time, Jonesy. He's got to stay in his lane. And what he did very well against Sacramento was he got to the basket. Yeah. He used his size, used his strength. He finished at the rim. He dunked on some people. And that's that's the kind of thing that Dwayne Casey wants from him night in, night out. And especially with no DeMar DeRozan, right, right. a guy who's an attacking player, you're going to need some of that from these two guys on the wing. Well, it's interesting, Sherm. Rather than trying to show that he could make jump shots, he played to his strength right. and drove the ball to the basket. The one thing that still concerns Dwayne Casey has to be the defense, though. When you think about it, I'll check the numbers today. Raptors bottom five in the NBA in points allowed in the last five games. They're outscoring people, Sherman. I, I don't know if that's viable long term. Well, I think you know, I know, Dwayne Casey knows that's not what they want to do. You look at last night's game, after playing a great first quarter, and we talked about getting off to a better start, they finally do that. Then the second quarter, they give up almost 77% yeah. field goal percentage to the Sacramento Kings. That's not going to get it done. And I think when you're talking about success in a long-term way over the course of the season, you cannot play that kind of basketball. You can't play offensive games where you have to just outscore people. They're going to be nice when you're not shooting the ball well. And you have to anchor yourself in your defense. Right, right. And if you're Dwayne Casey, you're taking all the wins you can get, but you know at the back of your mind, you're saying this won't last forever. We've got to get back to defensive principles. All right, tonight's opponent, the Utah Jazz, the third youngest team in the NBA in front of only Philadelphia and Milwaukee, having their issues at 5 and 13 in the tough Western Conference. But at the same time, Sherm, we've talked about them. They're a team that it's not really that far away. Right. They've got some good pieces in place. Tough to play on the back to back, lose an hour, coming into altitude. Toronto has to really grind it out tonight. I feel the will has to be better than the skill tonight for them to get a win. Well, that's a great point. And I think, you know, we've lamented about the poor starts for the Raptors. Right. A night like tonight on a back-to-back, -back, you expect Utah to jump all over the Raptors because right. they didn't play last night. But I will say this to your point. Utah, they do have some really nice young pieces that once they mature and they feel some veteran presence around them, I think they're going to be a very good team in terms of they have a system and a style that they play. And they also understand who they're anchoring their offense around. And it's Gordon Hayward right now, and he's the guy who's developing. They paid him. They have confidence in him. But I think the Raptors have to approach this game kind of like they did at the Air Canada right, Center. Right. You've got to take it to this team. You've got to stay on top of them because they're a good enough team to beat you. Even though they're not in position right now, they can still get that W. All right, game tips tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern time, Sportsnet 360 and Sportsnet 590, the fan.